Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber, and today I'm going to tell you and show you everything about the Ashford Joy 2 spinning wheel with a double treadle. Welcome all you fiber artists, and we have Rocky here with us today too. He's the studio cat, we just let him do his thing <laughs> and hope that he doesn't bite me while he's doing it. He's a bitey boy. If you're a spinner, you know that wonderful, healthy flow state that we get into that is mesmerizing when we're spinning. And if you're not a spinner, that's what happens when you latch on to this craft and this process. It's fantastic. I have here a beautiful and highly portable spinning wheel that is just magnificent to use. So my whole goal was I needed a wheel that did not take up too much space and that I could move easily because I like to be on the go. And this Ashford Joy 2 is that wheel that will do that. For those of you that already are spinning and have your wheels and wanna go just to the Rehash Fiber community conversation, <laughs> he's biting me now. Go to the community conversation at the timestamp below and there we'll just chat about fiber stuff. For the rest of you that wanna hear all about the Ashford Joy 2, I'm gonna show you what the unboxing is like and then we're gonna go through every bit of it. As you can see in the unboxing, I never got the pedals down because they weren't coming loose and I wasn't sure what the deal was. So I thought I'm just gonna calm down, get the instructions out and see what the deal is. Well, here it is. There is this really nice latch on the side that hooks over this and keeps your pedals secure. So that was the deal with that. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you how it unfolds and how to start putting it together. When you first get it and you wanna put your pedals down, you need to just release this hook and then your pedals will come right down. You can just pop these arms into place and cover it with the plastic protector. Your second treadle pops on just like so. This is what you get when you purchase it. So here's what's really cool. You get your three bobbins, your flyer comes with it. These are considered accessories, but look at this. Here is your lazy Kate where your two bobbins will sit when you're plying on the third. You get this carrying case. Fantastic. The whole wheel weighs 11 pounds, so you can easily fold it up, put it in here, and take it wherever you want to go. And it's kept safe in your car, in your closet, whatever you're doing when you're traveling. It's perfect. The threading hook is right here. So there is minimal assembly when you get it. It may take you maybe an hour or so. That's just an estimate. What you have to do is put your hook in here, you are given this plastic cord for your brake bands with your springs. And that's all you have to do. 
is just tie it onto the springs, hook it onto your hook. You put it around your knob here so you can adjust your brake band. And that's it. The Ashford Joy 2 has four speeds. You have a six to one, an eight to one, 11 to one, and a 14 to one. And it is as easy as just moving this band to whichever position you want it to. And likewise, moving it on the coordinating spot below. Attaching the flyer to the wheel is quite simple. They recommend you put oil on it. Add your bobbin. Make sure the brake band is out of the way so it's not blocked. Hold the whirl still and then you just turn the flyer until it's secure. And I do finger tight and that's worked every time. Now you're ready to spin. All right, so I showed you everything that comes with it when you buy the Ashford Joy 2. Now, I added on some extra things. I purchased this from the Woolery and I knew that I was gonna want a jumbo flyer and a jumbo bobbin. So they call this the Freedom Flyer Kit and I wanted to be able to do art yarn or ply a lot of the singles onto a jumbo bobbin. So I went ahead and ordered this in addition to what comes with it. I wanted to be ready. Then there's one more thing. I had heard my friends talk about the Wooly Winder and it is a flyer and bobbin that has a mechanism with teeth on both that when you are spinning, it moves the yarn guide as you're going. So you don't have to stop like you would do with a standard one and move the yarn guides and then start again. You can just keep going. So it's amazing because you know that healthy flow state I said you're in? Oh, you can get there and stay. It is just fantastic. So I wanted you to know about that. You have to order these extra from the woollywinder.com. For me, worth every penny because this is how I like to spin. I wanna start and just keep going. The main reason I got the Ashford Joy is because it's light and small and very portable. So check this out. There's little handles here. They've made cutouts in the wood. You can see it better on this side. You lift the wheel from there and look at how light it is. One hand, you can take this up and down the stairs or wherever you need to very easily. So I want you to have a chance to see what it looks like in motion. I've got the woolly winder on here because that's my favorite way to do it. It's a lot of fun. All right, here's the cool part. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take it apart, fold it up, and transport it. So when you're done with spinning and you need to transport it, loosen your brake band, move it to the back, hold your whirl, turn your flyer until it comes off. Now, this is going to fit in a hole that is right here. You need to spin the wheel until you get to this cutout in the wheel. That is made to support the shape of this. There you have it. Your flyer and your bobbin are secure in there. Now get ready for this. Here goes your bobbins on the Lazy Kate. They're tucked in. Cool. To fold this up, you need to pop off your pedal. This front one pops off, just a simple pop like that, it's off. Now you have to take your protective plastic, move it off of the hinge. The hinges come towards you and there you have it. Now you just fold this up. Voila!
and now it's ready to go. Check it out. All right, so you've seen the Ashford Joy and it is truly a joy for me to use. I make sure I have at least in half an hour a day that I can spin on it and it just makes me so happy. So I say it's like my daily therapy. All right, so this all came about from my morning cup of coffee on Instagram, which I learned so much there. I came across the page Beechwood Craft and the lady was spinning on this wonderful little spinning wheel and I was like, mm, what is that? That looks pretty good. I was starting to think about getting an actual spinning wheel because I spin a variety of different ways, but I didn't have a spinning wheel yet. And then I saw hers and I messaged her, what is it? She told me. I looked into it and I decided it was gonna be the right tool for me. And boy, is it ever. Now, when she was spinning, she was spinning flax. So the story comes around full circle. This was really wild because I was with my friend, Erica, who's a fiber artist. And she was telling me about how she sees what's going on out there. Um, with what she's doing on Facebook and that they are now selling flax from dowries in Austria. So there's this site called Berta's Flax and it's from a chest full of flax and they're selling it. So she asked me if I'd like to go in on some with her and I'm like, sure, you betcha. I'm game for anything. And it's on its way. Now what's really wild is Beechwood Craft where I saw the spinning wheel is spinning Berta's flax. So I'm like, whoa, really cool. Which makes me think of something. Every week I take a yoga class from my dear friend who is a yoga instructor. She always completes the class by saying, we are all connected by no mistake. And so I was like, oh, well, look at this really cool connection. Got my wheel, flax is coming from Erica. We're all connected. So it's just really cool. So just keep exploring life and keep being aware of the different things going on around you. And it's amazing. And now with the World Wide Web, we're all together in this. So it's, it's just a great thing. All right, so I'm gonna tell you about Rocky, the cat at the beginning of the show, who is my co-host sometimes, though um, a bitey one. Uh, he was great. We've had him for about a year and a half now. He was a stray in the neighborhood and we already had two cats, so we didn't feel like we could take another one. But then one night after, we'd seen him for about nine months, but I'd, I saw him that night and he was so incredibly beat up, nine infected wounds, and just many things wrong with him, poor thing. And I bent down to pet him and he kind of, you know, reached up my leg and was just like wanting more pets and my heart broke in too. So a few things had to happen and then he ended up here and I was too, foster him four days. I'm madly in love with him. So he stays. So he convalesced in the studio and this was his place for many months. And then we integrated him into the rest of the family in the house and all the other animals. And now it's going pretty good for the most part. He's a great cat. However, uh, the other girl cats in the house may not think so sometimes, but he's pretty great. He, when he's in the studio, he doesn't mess with any of this, um, except when I'm loading the loom. He cannot resist the yarn that's just like bouncing in his face, which, you know, can you blame him? Um, but other than that, he's good. He is actually our household entertainment. He is a clown of all sorts, and he is curious about everything. So he is watching me put wash in the washer, the dryer, um, making food by sitting on the trash cans. He likes to watch what's going on in the kitchen. One day he came walking through the shower. <laughs> I was like, okay, I, your curiosity never ends. He is fun. So anyway, now when you see Rocky coming through, you know a bit of his story. He's a cool cat and uh, he's quite gorgeous and quite funny. All right, so that's the chatting for today. I just wanna remind you about Patreon. Uh, please help with keeping the show going. If you enjoy watching it, go to my website, rehashfiber.com, sign up, three bucks a month. Um, really helps, keeps all, keeps the lights on. 
Also, there's merchandise there and everything helps for keeping the show going. So I really appreciate it. All right, so if you're interested in a portable little wheel, you know a good one to get. Regardless, if you're a spinner, happy spinning and thanks for watching.